Today we have a true clash of two titans. Combined, these two watches in front of me cost over half a million dollars. And if you find yourself out there with that kind of money in your pocket, which one should you choose to buy? That's the question we're gonna answer today. So let's jump right into comparing this Groyble Forcey and this Richard Mille. Welcome back to another episode here on the Shreve Crump and Low YouTube channel. I'm your host, Jack Tyler, and today we have an extremely special episode for you all. As you've probably already guessed based on the thumbnail for the video, today we're gonna to be comparing two incredibly rare watches I like to call hyper watches or even exotic watches. These are watches that are well, well above the $100,000 mark and that you could easily buy a Ferrari with. Of course, we're talking about Richard Mille and Groibel Forcey. Both of these brands are relatively new when compared to the likes of Patek Philippe or Vacheron Constantine who have been making watches for literally hundreds of years. In fact, Richard Mille as a brand is only 24 years old and Groibel Forcey is a staggering 19 years young. With less than 50 years of watchmaking between the two of them, you must be asking yourself what makes these watches so valuable and so hard to get. The answer isn't as simple as it seems. There are a ton of factors that go into making watches of this caliber. So let's start off by taking a closer look at the watches themselves. So you can start to appreciate why these things are just so expensive. Starting off with the Richard Mille, here we have the RM011 Felipe Massa edition. This particular RM is made out of black ceramic and forged carbon and contains a flyback chronograph with a date. Now, if you're sitting at home, you're probably saying to yourself, that's great, but I can find another ceramic chronograph for way less than $235,000. And of course, you're right. However, we must also take into consideration that these watches are not made to be budget friendly. These watches were made to make a statement and no expense was spared in making or buying these watches. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, owning a Richard Mille is definitely a way to show a certain level of financial status. But if we really break down what goes into the making of one of these watches, you'll start to realize that it's not all hype. Starting with the now iconic tonneau shaped case. These cases are typically made out of not only exotic materials, but also can typically have some of the craziest colors we've seen of watch cases today. Each watch is hand assembled and hand finished both inside and out. You might not expect this level of handcraft in such a non-traditional design, but there is a ton of intricate detail work that goes into every single Richard Mille. Not only that, but when we look at what's inside the watch, we find the extremely impressive caliber RMAC1, which is an automatic winding movement featuring a super cool variable geometry rotor. The calibers that RM makes are known for their extreme durability and technical performance under stress, which is why so many athletes choose these watches. Creating such a robust skeletonized caliber is not only difficult, but it's also very expensive. A large portion of the cost of a Richard Mille is in the research and development to make movements that have these types of properties. For instance, the pushers on this watch are made out of forged carbon. Forged carbon is extremely hard to work with and creates unexpected results. On average, Richard Mille rejects hundreds of parts if they do not meet their exacting standard. Beyond the research and development costs, we also must take into consideration the artistry of the design. Richard Mille really pioneered this ultra-modern, futuristic look, and while it may not be for everyone, true fans of the brand remain loyal because there's simply nothing else quite like it. But this video isn't just about Richard Mille, we are also comparing this to an equally amazing watch, the Groibel Forcey Balenciere Convex S2 in titanium. Just off appearances, you can already tell that these are two different creative processes at work here. While both of these watches could be categorized as extremely expensive sports watches, that's kind of where the similarities end between the two. Jumping to the skeletonized dial on the Groibel, we see a more avant-garde and abstract layout than the Richard Mille. You'll notice, of course, that ginormous exposed balance wheel that is placed at a 30 degree angle, which is done so to ensure more accurate timing. Crazy, right? This is one area where Groibel Forcey and Richard Mille do kind of overlap. It's their relentless pursuit for perfection and innovation. Both of these brands were founded on the idea of being disruptors in the industry. It's just that they've both gone about it in completely different ways. While Richard Mille leaves a lot of traditional aspects of watchmaking behind, Groibel tends to take those and rework them into something completely different. For instance, you'll notice a heavy usage of black polishing and sharp broad beveling across the finish of the watch. 
You'll also notice the extremely subtle and refined granular finishing on the base plates and throughout the case, which is done literally by hand. When you compare the finishing of the two, you have to give the edge to Groibel. The micro engraving, excellent polishing, and incredible architecture combine to create a watch that looks like something out of a Jules Verne novel. When it comes to the movement on the Groibel, we have a spectacular and innovative caliber that is unique in every single way. Now, a lot of what you're paying for when you buy a Groibel is the stuff that you don't even see, which is something uh, very romantic in my opinion, such as the countless hours it took to design this watch or the immaculate finishing on parts hidden inside the watch that only the watchmaker is going to know about. The Convex S2 is also limited to only 88 pieces worldwide, so the production numbers are extremely small when compared to other brands such as Rolex or Omega, and that is one of the main reasons that these watches are so expensive. Larger brands can distribute the cost of manufacturing and development over thousands of watches effectively to bring the price down. Now when we talk about watches like these where you have to make machines to even make the parts to start making the watches, the overhead of running a brand on that level is enormous. And if a brand only produces a few hundred pieces a year, then naturally the prices are going to skyrocket. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that there is no clear winner between these two watches. Both are extremely intricate and expertly crafted timepieces just done in two different ways. Groibel may win you over with their use of traditional finishing, while RM may sway you to break outside the box. You have to ask yourself first off, what does your gut say? Which one do you actually like better just on first glance? Next, you have to ask yourself which of the two philosophies match your taste better. Do you like the refined and more delicate look of the Groibel, or are you into the brutalist design of the RM? There are obviously no wrong answers, so let us know which is your favorite in the comments below. Now, both of these watches are, at the time of this video, currently available for purchase here at our watch salon in Boston, Massachusetts. Shreve Crumbelow is proud to be an authorized retailer of Groibel Forcey and many other fine brands. If you're curious about Groibel Forcey, please visit our website to learn more about this amazing brand at shrevecrumpenlow.com. Well, that about wraps up things for today, all. Thank you so much for spending a little time with us, and we'll catch you on the next video.